So from the eight parishes we started with, it's grown to 40 parishes. At the end of the second year, we had 600 customers and now we're adding 150 customers a week. We've laid 4,000 kilometres of ducting and fibre. We supply 1,000 megabit per second connection to every single home. We have 40 gig core feed. Each hub gets a minimum of 20 gig at any, any time. Uh, which of course nobody can use, it's complete overkill. And when we do need more, it's a very simple process to turn up the heat because the, the infrastructure's there and it's been built properly. And it's been built by total amateurs. You know, this is how easy it is to do it. If you're desperate enough and committed enough and caring enough about your community, if there's enough people of grit, any community can do this. I think an awful lot of us used to know each other. I mean, I've lived across the road from Mike for about 30 odd years, but when people fall over in the mud and lose the wellies, it's a sort of bonding experience in that. <laughs> There's always a, a challenge and, and the terrain, because sometimes we're going over limestone pavements, sometimes we're going over thick clay and mud and peat bogs. Um, but because it's being built by local people and local landowners and local farmers, you've got the local knowledge. So there'll be pieces of, of digging done willy-nilly. It's not one long line because the farmer has said, if you're coming through this field, you do it now. Or they'll say, you've got to get the duct in. You've another two or three weeks left. And then it, once the rain comes, you'll never travel on that field till next year. You've got to do it now. because people were leaving. But then after that, they, won't, they wouldn't come home because there's no internet, there's nothing going on. But now they're coming home and, and some are starting businesses. And, and like we had one lady who, who got cancer and she had to leave her job and have chemotherapy. So she was off work. And, and what she did was she started her own business at home and she makes um, Harry's tweed bow ties and corsages. She sells them on Facebook and eBay. It's brilliant. The beauty of barn it, the, the actual people. And I'm still a full-time volunteer because I can't stop doing it. You know, I don't want to get paid to do it and I don't want to leave it. But I can't, I'm totally addicted to meeting all these nutcases. They are absolutely fantastic, these people. You know Tim. Do you know Nigel? Well, I think uh, we've briefly met. Yes, we met at the, um, yes. These yes. two were the ones that really got things going here. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I, I set up a business in Silverdale at the beginning of 2012 um, on the understanding that BT were going to be bringing Infinity to the area in September of that year. Ooh, and it, it didn't happen, <laughs> and you know, we just had to take matters into our own hands. Well, that and seems to be exactly the prevailing idea, isn't it? Let, let's just get something done. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, people sure. are actually doing yeah. it, and it's we're, really we're exciting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, it is about digging and then tea and cake, but here, there's so much rock. Um, we're just going to go straight to the cake. <laughs> <laughs>